Hi there, guys. Um, this next video uh, that I wanted to make, uh, I want to talk about the ways that I really don't think a lot of men really pay attention to um, they don't take women serious in a, in a lot of things, uh, but they don't take women serious in this particular area that I think is so very, very vital and important. Uh, they should, they absolutely should. But I think it has a lot to do with the boys club. I think it has a lot to do with um, men really not realizing how much of a threat they are to women and, and really not realizing despite whatever kind of front the woman might put on, uh, but really how frightening and how scary they can be. Um, I think a lot of men uh, well, at the end of the day, they, they really do discredit a lot of what women say. Uh, I think another real big and horrible issue with that is that the, there's a lot of men um, who group women into these females, these women, all women, um, and really basically just kind of think women are all the same. That right there is, first of all, a huge red flag, when, uh, ladies. If any man is grouping you, that that's, first of all, something that I personally just, it, it does something to the pit of my stomach when I have a man uh, group me in with all women. Uh, and that's not because... I necessarily want to be any superior to women or whatever. It's just the fact that I realize what you're doing is you're 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 basically saying I have no individuality. You're basically saying that I'm going to do what everybody else do, uh, did, or I'm going to handle it the way any other woman does. And and a lot of times for me, it's a huge problem because. And and once again, I'm not saying that I'm better or anything like that. I'm saying I'm different. I'm saying every woman is unique. Um, but there's been a lot of instances in my life, and, and maybe even in other women's lives, I'm, I'm quite sure, where grouping me has just really been bad for me because... I've had men handle me in accordance with how they handled their ex. And I've had men handle me and come at me in a way that they came at every, every other one. And to typicalize, uh, typical, typicalize um, me and my behavior with all other women. Um, I know that there has been a couple of instances in my life where uh, because I don't handle situations the way, I don't know, maybe a lot of women handle it or whatever, as far as things like going through a man's phone, as far as going through his pockets, as far as, you know, not wanting him to go out with his buddies and his friends and, you know, just, just hovering and just being, you know, uh, you know, I want you here with me and you ain't got to go and, blah, you know, I've never been that way, you know, um, I've, I've never seen a need to be that way because, I mean, my thing is, you know, I, I, I don't know, I just, I never even that I know I really even had a philosophy on it. I just figure like you're a grown adult, 
get up and go where you want, you know. Now, of course, if you're in a relationship of, of any kind, you need to communicate, you need to talk, you need to let people know where you are, you need to let people know when you're coming back at some reasonable hour, uh, just on some adult stuff, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but searching through men's phones and, and going through their pockets and looking for this, and the, I've, I've just never done that. It's too much energy for me, and I just, I don't want to monitor anyone's behavior. Um, if he doesn't want to to be with me and be in the relationship exclusively, uh, then we just simply don't need to be together. Like, I'm, I'm not going to fight. I'm not going to argue, scream, holler, run, cry. I'm not going to do any of that uh, and never have, you know. Honestly, in, in my relationships, the guys have been the one that, you know, were, were begging me to come back and begging me not to leave and everything because I just, I, I, I'm just real cut and dry and simple with it. Either we're together in partnership in a relationship because we want to be, or if one ain't happy and one don't want to be there and, you know, if one person got to try too hard and we just don't, it, it's, it's too much energy to waste too much time. Life is too short you know, is, is how I feel about it. But I have had, you know, guys who, because I wasn't going through their pockets and because I wasn't, uh, you know, doing all this crazy stuff, stuff and, uh, you know, uh, busting windows off the car and, uh, you know, slashing tires and all them. Nah, I, I, I never have, don't have no interest in doing that. And because I didn't do that, then I have been, you know, told and treated like I don't care about them or the relationship. And I think it's sad because at the end of the day, that's some real toxic stuff, uh, whether whether you look at it or not as, as that, whether you look at it as not or not as that, it is very toxic. Um, so that's one of uh that's one of the things that um I personally just don't do you know I don't feel like I need to but getting back to the the actual topic of of a lot of the things and behaviors that I really don't think men realize how frightening they are um you know there's a there's a lot of women out there who will and do fight men. They've been probably doing it since they were young. Uh, my my daughter's one. <laughs> uh, who I don't I don't think she really does it anymore. She has since stopped. Um, but I I I think a guy or two put their hands on her in retaliation for her putting her their her hands on them, and I I certainly hate it. You know, um, certainly the 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 um, the response is to you know do something about it, uh, but you know of course she wouldn't reveal who and all this kind of stuff, and so it, it was just a crazy situation. But there are women out there who feel as if you know, they uh, can fight a man, will fight a man, whatever. And of course, if you're fighting for your life or if you're, you know, if you're put in a situation where you have to fight, then by all means fight. Um, but at the end of the day, I, I believe that women uh, on a whole know that men are bigger, stronger, and can really hurt them. And even when they're not big and stronger, um, and I've said it before in other videos, even a small man can, can hurt a woman, you know, if he really, I mean, he, a lot of times they don't even have to really try, you know, uh, they just can, you know, women just don't carry the strength of a man, you know, and um, I think a lot of men, you know, kind of take, um, there's a new breed of men today. There have always been men that hit hit women, uh, get violent with women, um, and had no problem with it. But there was at least a time when there was a thing when men just didn't hit women. You know what I'm saying? Uh, today, that's not really taught so much. 
you know, there are men today who will absolutely beat a woman down like another dude. Um, there are absolutely men today who look and wait for an opportunity. Um, I've been in uh, situations with guys that, you know, I, it was probably when I was dating. Um, but you could see, uh, and especially as I look back, I could I could look back and see the way this one guy in particular held back um, a lot of his aggression, but you, you could see it with the, you know, they, you know, they, it's something back up in here where men, you know, it just starts moving or whatever, you know, and you can, you can tell that they're, they're angry and just, I don't know if it come from being, you know, a Pisces and having a lot of intuition or just whatever, but I, I could tell, I could feel it. I could feel the vibes, you know, that he had a lot of suppressed anger. And um, I may have shared this before, so I won't go all the way into it, but um, there was something that I shared with him. And once he got an opportunity to uh, really say how he felt, you know, he was really letting it out there. And even in another instance, he let it out that, you know, he would put his hands on a woman if she did thus and so. Um, there was another, you know, younger guy who had very toxic ways and, and, and things he said about women that he began to say stuff like hitting a woman or slapping a woman. I do this if she did this. And, you know, and, you know, I take that kind of stuff serious. I really do. I, I don't play around and, you know, think of guys joking with me when he said he, he will do thus and so to a woman or to me. Um, you know, I take those very seriously. And I, I think women, period, need to take heed to statements like that. Take heed to a guy's past. If he said anything about hitting a woman or being violent with a woman, or you see those tendencies in him where you you would see that, yeah, he would, because you know, you know. Um, I think women need to be very uh, mindful of stuff like that and not feel like, oh, he won't do it to me because, he, I mean, ain't none of us special, <laughs> you know, to the point that, you know, it ain't going to happen to me. You know, I'm a better woman than she was. And that's not the case, you know. Um, cause in so many ways, it didn't have anything to do with the woman in a lot of cases. It really didn't. It has to do with that man and his, uh, his issues and his suppressed anger and his feelings of inferiority, feelings of whatever, um, and just him having an opportunity to do whatever it is he really wants to do, which would be at that, in this situation, put his hands on a woman. Um, so I don't, I don't do that. I don't go there. I don't, I don't do the play fighting and hitting and all that kind of stuff because I don't want to give anybody an opportunity. Uh, but, uh, I think that's one of the first ways that, um, you know, a woman really needs to take heed at a man's aggression, um, and things he says and things that he has said he's done, um, to women. Um, don't ever think ladies that you can just fight and beat a man. I mean, there are some instances where, you know, yeah, sometimes a woman can, but I wouldn't make it no habit, <laughs> you know? Um, but other ways that, that men, I think don't realize how intimidating they really are or can come off to a woman is in the area of trying to get her attention. There is a lot of men who come on very, very strong. Um, and then it gets to a point to where the woman is, you know, kind of afraid to say no. And, and with a lot of the track record today of things that happen to women for saying no to men or rejecting men, uh, it's no wonder. But it, it's kind of always been, you know, uh, because he does, and, and some men will start putting it on, you know, stronger and harder and coming on harder and stronger and more creepy. And, you know, they will say things like, oh, you know, you want it. Oh, you know, you like it. And, 
you know, you know, um, and a lot of times that is not the case at all, but a woman will either give in or just say yes or whatever, really to get herself out of a bad situation or so that a situation won't turn worse. Um, you know, I'll even confess myself that there have been times in the past, my younger days where, you know, one time in particular, I just went ahead and let the situation go ahead and happen because I already knew that if I fought or if I, um, yeah, that if I fought back, it wasn't going to be good for me. You know, it was very, very scary. Uh, but I just went ahead and made it in so many ways, I guess, like it was consensual or just whatever and just never saw the person again. But um, it's some really, because first of all, the person was, you know, bigger and stronger than I was. And so I, I, me trying to fight back or whatever was really getting me nowhere anyway. And I'm, I'm sure there has been other women in that type of situation. Um, and it's not easy to talk about, you know, but, um, It'll be later on that the guy will, oh, well, you said yes, or you you went ahead with it, or, you know, you, 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 ain't, you ain't fight back, or, you you know, and I think a lot of that is just that man's trying to uh, justify in himself for being a horrible person at that time and doing something that was violent, you know, to someone and getting away with it. Um, but those kind of things, you know what I'm saying? Uh, not taking heed when a woman says no, not hearing when a woman says no, not, you know, just going ahead on with what you want because you want it. And then, you know, later, like I say, well, gaslight and, and things like that, that, oh, well, you know, you wanted it. And, oh, well, you could have stopped and you could have, you know, and then, the other way is with these men who something bad, violent, or horrible happens to a woman. A lot of times, even that they know, even women in their family, and will blame the woman and say that, oh, well, you you knew what you was doing, or you know, you knew what you was getting into, or you knew what kind of dude that was, and blah blah blah. And I think that's a really horrible tactic because what it does is it re really puts the blame on the woman that it's her fault that that happened to her or that that dude said that to you or that you, you know, got hit or that you, got, you, you know, he followed you or he, you know, and, and that's another thing, you know, the following, the stalking, the constant calling, the even being in a person's DMs, you know, for months <laughs> at a time when they are ignoring you or not saying anything to you or just whatever and you just steady coming on it's, I mean that's some creepy shit you know it really is it's not flattering it's not cute it's not um oh well let me just keep on because eventually she's gonna give in why, why would you want to continue to do something to just finally break a person's will like what how, how does that boost your ego that they would finally want you or talk to you or whatever. I mean, like, that's some real creepy stuff, you know? Um, the other behavior uh, that, that, that men exhibit, not realizing how creepy that shit is, is the whole, you know, telling a woman to smile, you know? Or, you know, like, like I just said, you know, constantly badgering her and asking her for her number or can we go out and can you know and yeah you may finally go ahead and weigh her wear her down she may eventually go ahead and say yeah but at the end of the day at what cost you may finally eventually get whatever it is that you want and because you have pressured her or because she's scared and so she just you know goes ahead because I mean I don't think men realize because of their size and strength and just the fact that they're a man, you know, their voices are louder and stronger and harder and things like that. And I think a lot of them like to look at women and feel like, you know, the woman, I hope that volume didn't come up. 
feel like the woman is, oh, she masculine, she's strong, she modern, you know, so she can handle it, you know, and look at woman, look at women almost like, and in some ways, like they're equal. And let me clarify that because I'm not talking about an equal as in like jobs and money and ability and things like that. I'm talking about as in like brute strength and, and, you know, pitting a woman against a man in that type of instance. Um, there's a difference. There's a difference. But there are a lot of men who will, oh, well, you want to be strong. You want to be independent. You want to be, you know, you want to be the man. So, yeah, you, you stand up, take it like a man. Or what? And it's that's some, that's some real sick, it's some very demented. Uh, and what it tells me is that have you ever got the opportunity to do or hurt a woman that you would? That's what it tells me deep down, you know. Uh, men have a lot of underlying uh, aggression, real passive, aggressive uh, type behavior a lot of them will exhibit. Um, and once again, either they don't know or they don't care or they just want to act like they don't know that that behavior is scary to a woman you know, because of however they want to justify it in their head and in their mind. But um, it's real, it's true. And I think um, a lot of guys just, you know, uh, th there's an entitlement. There's a real entitlement. I, I remember a guy, this guy, I would really, I never had a conversation with this guy. I never said two words to this particular guy. Um, and this was years ago in Houston. I was on the bus. I would catch the bus to go to work and basically come home, whatever. And this guy, I guess he, he worked early in the morning as I did. And he would, you know, be, I don't know what apartments he lived in because, uh, the apartment, the, the community that I lived in, in, uh, Houston at that time, uh, down that street, it was, a, it was a major street and things like that. And it had like a whole bunch of line of apartments down there, like a whole bunch of them. And so it was, it was that kind of thing. So I don't know what apartments complex or whatever he lived in. He could have lived in line. I didn't know. Uh, but I would see him all the time. And this guy uh, would always, you know, be saying stuff and trying to talk to me or whatever. And I would just, I wasn't interested at all. He wasn't my type. He was too short. He would just, he just wasn't my type. I just wasn't interested. And so I never just even said anything. And the normal thing would be just to leave a person alone if you see that they're not giving you any attention or they're trying to avoid you. Uh, but this guy continued, continued, continued all the time. And um, I remember one day, uh, I don't know, I guess he got fed up. I guess he just, whatever. But he, uh, had, he had gotten on the bus and he had sat down uh, before me. And I continued on past him. And he calls me a stuck up bitch as I passed him by rolled his eyes, looked up at me in my face, rolled his eyes and called me a stuck up bitch. Loud enough for everybody to hear it. And, you know, I just, wow. <laughs> you know, I, once again, I continued to sit down, didn't pay no attention, whatever, you know, but, and I don't even remember when he stopped or whatever, but, you know, it's that kind of stuff because he was obviously angry. And he, it's like, it went from, oh, you cute, let me get your number, let me holler at you, whatever, you know, friendly, 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 to now you mad, now you angry. And so that, like, put a little fear in me, like, damn, like, do I need to watch myself? Like, do I, I'm more, like, you know, it's pretty dark when I'm going to work and coming home, like, I don't, you know, like, you know, you just start thinking you know, what ifs, you know, so, um, that's just some, some things that I wanted 
to share. It's another video that had really been on my heart. Um, how men really don't get or really just a lot of times don't pay attention to how a lot of their behavior really does scare a woman. You know, when a woman says no, when a woman doesn't want to talk to you, when a woman don't want to give you her phone number, when you're following her, chasing her, looking at her, just being a goddamn creep, you know, a lot of that is signs of some real underlying behavior that a lot of times a woman can see and she doesn't want to have anything to do with you. Um, then you got the whole scenario of if you are married or in a relationship, of course, all women probably have gone through that too. Uh, and, and let me just say this. I get the fact that there are women who are crazy as hell and who obsess over men and who will fight over a man and try to take a man from a woman. I'm like, I know I get that. I understand all that. Um, and, but this video is not about that, but I certainly do acknowledge that, you know, you got some straight home records, home women who want to break up another woman's home. Don't give a damn, don't care. Don't whatever. Matter of fact, maybe one day I will share that story because I absolutely had a woman um, after my first husband, I mean, she, my, she was a neighbor and I thought friend and this woman wanted my husband. She absolutely wanted him. So, but anyway, I'm, I might go into that one day. Uh, that was a situation that happened when I was living in New Orleans, you know? So I get that. I know that I'm not discounting that saying that, you know, women are innocent or whatever. You got some crazy ass women out here like for real, for real. Uh, and a lot of times women will go to even dirtier and lower tactics to, to get what they want. So I, I trust me, I, I know, I get it and I understand that. Um, but at, at the end of the day, you know, I just wanted for the men who do watch my channel and don't get offended uh, by the things that I say you know, I, 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 because I feel like I'm an advocate for women, because I am a woman and I've gone through so many of the things that I talk about. And so that's the perspective that I tell it from. Uh, I know it seems like I don't like men. I hate men. I, whatever. I get that. I understand. Uh, I, I had a man call me an extreme feminist, uh, on one of my comments, uh, recently, but I'm not an extreme feminist. I'm just an extreme advocate for women. And I'm an extreme advocate for learning from my mistakes. And I'm an extreme advocate for not wanting a woman, if I can help her or tell her what I've gone through and share my experience and keep her from going through the same, that, that is what I want to do. It ain't that I hate men. Matter of fact, I love men. I absolutely do. It's not a lesbian there's not even a bisexual bone in my body i absolutely love men period you know so it's, it's nothing like that um but i think we're at a time when we are women are opening up their eyes and and learning and seeing and not wanting to put up with a lot of the the tactics that men have been doing and using since they they great grandfathers you know and it's just getting old and it's just getting tired and it's getting worn out and women are sick of it and women are tired of it. And we tired of washing drawers and we tired of cooking and cleaning and we tired of serving and we tired of, you know, just taking care of you like you're a child. And we're, we're tired of you because you have a job and because you go to work and because you pay bills, which is what adults do anyway. And what would be what you would be doing, whether you had a woman or not which is another thing that I, 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 it bothers me when I hear men talk about paying the bills and, you know, and I, I get up and I go to work and blah, 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 blah. Okay. And women get up and go to work too. And women usually 95 to 96, if not a hundred percent of the time, still got to come home and still take care of family, children, and be all that, you know, to a wife, a lover, or, you know, you got to take care of all of that. And a lot of times, a lot of women are even taking care of extended family. You know, you have to be responsible for those things. You got to take care of her mom sometimes. You got to take care of ailing relatives and people getting sick in the family and, you know, people calling her for this. And, you know, and that's not to say that, you know, women don't want to, but women have 
just because of our nurturing na uh, nature, women have a whole lot put on us. And so many men discount that as well. <laughs> and basically, I, I really don't even know why men discount it because if they're honest, most of the time they will see that women do actually a whole lot more than they do. Getting up going to work eight hours or 12 or however many hours you work uh, a day, a week or whatever, um, still doesn't negate the fact that the other person isn't doing things that should be done as well, you know? Um, but that is huge. That is really, really huge. Um, Thing that men do and it's it's just the fact that women are getting tired and saying no and no more like you know I, I'm, I'm so many women are nurturers by nature so many women are going to come in do what needs to be done and just instinctively take care of stuff we just go instinctively do that just because that's our nature but I think, and I know so many take, so many men take advantage of that. And I think what women are saying, or let me just say, as men like to call them the modern women, you know, which is really on the verge of being very derogatory itself. But I won't go there. Uh, women are just saying that we want some equality in relationships in that we're tired of being mothers and wives and mother wives to men <laughs> you know we're, we're just tired of it then you got to take care of children and everything else i i know more women are looking toward partnership women are looking for if they cook then you help clean up if you got children you know, it don't have to be her all the time that helps the children with the homework. It could be the dad. It could be, um, you know, if y'all got kids, you know, let him take the children over to, to his mama house sometimes. Or, you know, you stay home with your own kids and let her go out with her girls or let her go have a spa day or just whatever it is she likes to do. Um, but it's, it's sharing and it's being more equal in relationships. I don't I don't think that a lot of these women are just saying that they want to just wear off men completely and just not ever be in relationships. I think women are saying that they want more equality and partnership and understanding and mutual affection and mutual love and mutual getting out of all that they're putting in to relationships. Cause I feel like women are saying that we are completely burnt out and it's just really getting old, like for real, like it's old. Um, all that traditional stuff, all that like, it, it, at this point it basically turns in my stomach when I hear men talking about that. It really does because you already know you about to be a slave. You already know you're about to not be appreciated. You already know that he wants to lay up and get his feet rubbed and get his food brought to him and just basically be the king. And what? And it's nothing wrong with that if that's what a woman wants to do. But when it's not given back, when he's never touched your feet, <laughs> you know, uh, when he has never brought you your plate, all the plates that I remember I gave to my ex-husband, just my ex-husband, uh, in comparison to the times he brought me my plate, I think I'm really stretching it, but I'm going to say maybe three times, and this is in a nine-year marriage, that he possibly have given me my plate. But I honestly only remember once, and that's just the truth. So that's it, guys. Um I'm not going to prolong it. I, I just wish there was more understanding. And I think that's what a lot of women are looking for, some mutual understanding uh, in relationships. Because if it has to be the way that is, it is now, and with men expecting all that they expect, don't listen to women, don't really care, 
about what women say, don't really want to hear what women have to say and all that, then I don't want to listen to you or be with you or be in a relationship with you either. I mean, it's really just that simple, you know? I mean, we see the statistics, you know what I'm saying? We see the, the reports, you know? We see that women can and do strive and, and survive much better a lot of times on their own. I mean, it, what's crazy about all of this is that men are not changing their views, beliefs, ideas, understandings, and ways and when when dealing with women. And women are now beginning to take more heed to these studies and to psychologists and to behaviors and, and to things that they have seen until I don't think, I really seriously, I've said this before in my videos, I don't think men realize just how bad for real it, they, it's going to get. Men, y'all y'all can keep saying you don't need women, you don't have to have a woman, you don't, you don't, you don't. But what I will tell you is that I think men are going to really come to the realization that they need women a whole lot more than women need them. And at the end of the day, there is an innate need for us to have one another, period. But like I say, with the way things are, the this all this misogyny and just how men are, the passive aggressive, the manipulation just to do, well, I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to say this, or I'm just going to do this just to get by, just to shut up or just to let her have her way. And then I'm going to still do what it, see that kind of stuff right there. Women sick of that because we, we already know we get it. We understand just because a lot of women don't say stuff, what they see here, get, and really truly understand don't mean that we stupid. And I think a lot of men take that for granted. Like women have really honestly and truly been protecting men a long, long time by them not saying anything. All these men that get up and complain, and this may be another topic, but all the men who get up and complain about women badgering them or bad mouthing them to their kids and, you know, the whole baby mama thing and just the, you know, I think, matter of fact, I know it's way more women who keep their mouth shut and bite their tongue to their kids, their children, and to so many situations that men have done and things that they have gotten away with and how ugly and abusive and, and mentally and, and emotionally abusive they have been in long-term relationships with, with these men and they protect it from the kids. They, a lot of times the women protect it from their families. Like a lot of times women just won't say anything. You, you see stuff going on, you know, you, you know, that is stuff going on with you and your partner that if your brothers and uncles and whoever else knew would not be happy. And it, it would have to be some answering going on on his part. I mean, there, there have been situations where, you know, I have a brother that would protect me fiercely with his life. And if I had told him some of the stuff that I was going through, it, it would have been on, but I, I didn't. And, and I didn't, not so much to protect them or him, uh, but it was more so because I didn't want my brother getting in trouble. Like I didn't want my brother going to jail. I didn't want uh, that's half the reason why I, I had, I knew I had to get out of Houston and get away from, um, that other ex is because I knew my son was going to eventually get in trouble because my son was getting to be a big boy. I mean, he, we, when I met him, my son was already 15 years old. And then just dealing with this dude, like my son is getting bigger and older and he, he you know, feeling out more like a man and everything. And he sees how you're treating his mom. Like he see what you're doing. And, and just, and, and it's so crazy. It is so crazy. I'm going to cut the video off, but it's so crazy. But I remember my son and my son brought this back up to me, but I remember my son after maybe the first or second time that he met him, probably the first time that he met him. I remember my son told me, mama, I don't like him. He told me that. He told me that he said it two or three times. Mama, I don't, I just, 
I don't like that dude. And my thing was why? Like what? What? You know, because I, I really didn't get it. You know, I didn't. I didn't see. But my son saw. You know, I, I didn't have really any other too many other males really around me. But my son had picked up on it even then. His toxicity, his behavior, his all, all of that. He picked up on his vibe, and he was like, "I don't, I don't like him, mama." And uh, it probably would have saved me a lot if I had listened. It probably would have, you know, but we live and we learn, you know. So take heed to those kind of things, ladies, you know. Um, let people be around and come around these these guys and these dudes and let them pick up on the different aspects and, and, and a different uh, uh, a different vibe from them other than what you are picking up because you like them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, really, for the main part, I was really just, I, I, I just thought he was just really so cute and so handsome. Call me shallow. But that, that, that is, and he was very charming. He was, he was very, he's a very good talker. He was, he was absolutely narcissistic, which is also another, that, that's one of the ways that I, um, I, um, uh, I pick narcissists out was is because of him and his behavior. When I start getting them vibes like him and I start getting charmed, you know, all the way down to my socks and he just, oh my God. And I, yeah, mm -mm, mm -mm, that, that's a red flag for me now. So you guys, anyway, thank you for listening and watching. Please hit the subscribe button. Hope you got something out of this. I hope you understood exactly what I was trying to say in, in trying to pinpoint a lot of the ways and behaviors and things that I think men, like I say, either just ignore or don't pay attention to or just don't care. And how their behavior uh, can be very intimidating to a woman, you know. Uh, but let me know. Leave me a comment. Uh, hit the notification uh, bell also so that you know when I um, upload a video hit all notifications if you wouldn't mind I would really really appreciate that but you guys until the next video thank you for listening and thank you for watching I'll see you next time